Finglas Abbey. In the grounds of St. Canis's graveyard stand the ruins of Finglas Abbey. The abbey was built on the site of an ancient monastery which was founded by St. Canis in 560 AD. At that time, monasteries were very powerful. They were not just religious, they also took part in business and politics in Ireland. They were also centres of community, so the village of Finglas grew up around the monastery. St. Canis's monastery was very important, and along with Tala was known as the Two Eyes of Ireland, which kept Christianity strong. But because of their wealth, monasteries were also prime targets for raiders. The Vikings attacked the monastery throughout the 9th and 10th centuries. The ruins of the church that can be seen today date from the 10th and 12th centuries, long after the Viking raids had ended, so the abbey has probably been rebuilt. After the Normans came to Ireland in the 12th century, the monastery became the property of the Archbishop of Dublin, and a big manor house was built in its grounds. Part of this manor house can still be seen today. It is known locally as King William's Ramparts. In the 15th century, another mansion was built for the wife of the most senior politician in the country, Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. This mansion fell into ruin. During the reign of Elizabeth I, 1553 to 1603, Finglas Abbey became a Protestant church. It was used by the people of Finglas until 1843. Both Catholics and Protestants are buried in St. Canis's graveyard. The earliest headstones date from Queen Elizabeth's time.